Hey everybody. Today we're talking about data classification. Fundamentally, there are two different kinds of data, quantitative and categorical. Quantitative data consists of numerical measurements or counts, while categorical data, also known as qualitative data, consists of labels or other descriptors. Some examples of quantitative data, heights of women in South America, weights of newborns at British hospitals, numbers of unemployed people in each nation of the world. Some examples of categorical data would be eye color of cats, political party affiliations of voters, and preferred brands of soft drinks among consumers. Here's a trickier example. Numbers worn on baseball jerseys. So these are numbers, but they don't correspond to measurements or counts in any meaningful way. Really, they're just labels. And so this data should be considered categorical, not quantitative. A, trick, a quick and dirty way to determine whether or not this is the case when you see data that consists of numbers is to ask whether it makes sense to do um, numerical operations. In particular, you think about an average. While it is possible to take the average jersey number of players on a baseball team, that average won't have any real meaning. It won't tell you anything. And that's a tip-off that here you're actually dealing with, dealing with categorical data. There are two different sorts of categories, ones that can be ordered in a meaningful way and those that cannot. And we have vocabulary corresponding to each of those situations. Ordinal data uses categories that do have a meaningful order. The example that you've probably seen before is the Likert scale, where you have five survey choices, strongly disagree, disagree, neutral, agree, and strongly agree. Those obviously have a natural order. On the other hand, nominal data uses categories that do not have a meaningful order. For example, political affiliation, gender, and favorite soft drink. While we could impose an order on those that would be completely arbitrary and based on our own opinions. Let's acknowledge that there may be some gray area between ordinal and nominal data, as with um, most distinctions that we make in statistics. Um, and so while we might be sometimes able to debate whether a variable is really ordinal or nominal, um, we shouldn't let that convince us that this distinction isn't real. It sure is. Similarly, there are two kinds of quantitative data. There's the kind where it makes sense to talk about ratios and multiples, like income, weight, and age. And we call such variables, we say they're at the ratio level of measurement. It makes sense to say that one person is twice as old as another, or that someone makes half as much money as another one. If it doesn't make sense to talk about ratios and multiples, the data is said to be at the interval level of measurement. For instance, temperature and calendar year. We don't want to say that something is twice as hot as something else, because if we change from Celsius to Fahrenheit, for example, um, the, that statement could go from true to false or false to true. A quick and dirty way of determining whether data is at the ratio level of measurement or the interval level of measurement is to ask whether zero on that scale actually corresponds to nothing or none. For example, zero kilograms, zero dollars, or zero years old. In each case there, zero means that you don't have any kilograms, dollars, or years. On the other hand, if you're at the interval level of measurement, zero doesn't really correspond to nothing in any real way. For example, with temperature, zero um, is just some number that we've chosen um, on our scale. Zero degrees Fahrenheit and zero degrees Celsius are different. It's just arbitrary. Let's do a few examples. In each of these cases, we want to determine whether we have a quantitative or categorical variable and then identify the level of measurement. Waiting times at a bank. These are going to be numbers, so we think it's going to be quantitative. And it definitely makes sense to talk about whether you wait twice as long or half as long. Zero has a real meaning here. This is quantitative data. It's at the ratio level of measurement. Genders of winners of best director, of the Oscar for best director. This is categorical. These are going to be identifiers rather than numbers. And they can't be ranked in a meaningful way. This is at the nominal level. Names of books on the New York Times bestseller list. So because they're names, this is going to be um, quanti this is going to be categorical. And in this case, they can be ordered. 
the first bestseller, the second bestseller, the third bestseller. In a natural way, they can be ordered. So categorical, ordinal level of measurement. Finally, times of day of lightning strikes on the Empire State Building. So this is going to be quantitative. Um, in particular, it does make sense to talk about the time between lightning strikes, for instance. However, it's going to be at the interval level of measurement. There isn't a zero here that means none or nothing.